Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Northwest Baseball Report recap show. I'm your host, Josh, and I'm guys, I'm excited to do this one. As you guys, if you follow the Northwest Baseball Report website, you know I've done a few uh, articles for recaps the last couple weeks. One to actually kind of add this to things as well. I did the Twitter poll last week just to kind of see if people would be interested in this, uh, asking if people wanted just articles, just podcasts, or a combination of both. And although the articles, they won out, uh, there was actually a very significant number of votes saying, hey, do the podcast or do both. And so I've kind of decided to do both. It's something I enjoy doing. Uh, if you've been following this uh, podcast channel, you know that I did do the 90 Know-It-All podcast for, for the past year. That is still going to keep going on. It will stay on this channel. It will be one of the shows I do. Northwest Baseball Report is a second show that I'm going to do is going to include recaps as well as talking with different uh, coaches and players from the Northwest and talking about their programs, what's going on, that type of stuff. And then also doing a, a baseball in life uh, type of podcast where it's really going to be kind of a one-on-one -on -one therapy session, I guess, a, kind of a fun way of saying it, where I just talk and you guys as listeners hear what I'm talking about, different topics. Some are going to be serious, some are less serious, some are going to be who knows what, but there'll be a chance for me to talk things out and have you guys, you know, listen, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and do the recaps, have a lot of fun with those, just kind of see where things go. I think they'll be, I think it'll be good. I think the recaps are going to be fun. Uh, I think definitely we know that having guests on to talk about baseball in the Northwest is going to be great because you guys have already loved that. All the people who have listened to the show in the past, uh, you guys just love listening to, people talking baseball and I love that as well. So uh, going to be a lot of fun. So I'll be doing both the, once again, articles as well as the podcast. I'm going to try and have a set schedule for the podcast. Um, probably have episodes coming out Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, and then Friday morning. There may be some additional shows that pop in week to week, but really going to try and set that. That way I can do a good recap on Monday recording it and have it play out Tuesday morning, have a guest on to talk about Northwest baseball, have that play out Wednesday morning. And then Friday will probably be just kind of whatever, whatever happens through the week, you know, if something in major league baseball, that type of stuff. But I, I love this show because it really gets to focus on Northwest baseball, which is something that I'm love and I'm passionate about. And, and let's be completely honest outside of uh, small newspapers that cover local local colleges, local teams, there isn't a lot of coverage for Northwest baseball. In fact, there are some colleges and a lot of travel ball teams that don't get any coverage, even from their local papers. Um, they're just not a priority. And that's disappointing for me, but at the same time, it opens a door where I think people want publicity. They want information about Northwest baseball and they want it all in one spot. And this is the site that's going to be it. This is the show that's going to do it. Northwestbaseballreport.com is the site that's going to have it uh, because there just isn't anything else out there. I've realized that even with what I've done the last couple of years, last six years covering NWAC, um, yeah, you can go to each school's individual site and get information about that school. And you can go to the NWAC page and get some information, but they do all the different sports, not just baseball, because um, you can't just focus on one sport when you're an entire conference. So when it comes to NWAC coverage, I've been the main source in, in a lot of ways. And even with Northwest Baseball, I've been kind of the main source of information and different things like that. And I, I'm going to amp it up. I'm going to really get going. And I want to be, I want to be the site that people go to knowing, hey, I need something Northwest related. This is where I go. If I need something about NWAC baseball, I'm going there. If I go something about NAIA in the Northwest or D2 and D3 or travel ball, this is where you go. Northwest Baseball Report because, you know, there's, there's a level of, I guess, a level of pride for what I'm doing. I want to be, I want to be the one who brings it all together and, and shares it and grows this game as much as I possibly can. You know, and that's why I, I, I'm extremely excited for one of the sponsors I have. I have a, a brand new sponsor for the site. It's Rep the Pacific Northwest. It is a, it's a hat company that has got one of the best designs I've ever seen for a hat, especially for people here in the Northwest who love baseball. 
Because let's be honest, there's a sense of pride that comes with being a baseball player or fan from the Pacific Northwest, whether it's from Bellingham down to Medford, across to Idaho Falls, you know, everywhere in between. Hometown pride, it, it extends just beyond your hometown here in the Northwest. And it's really a, a pride for the entire region. There's kind of a, a chip on the shoulder for people who live up here. And that's why I love Rep the Pacific Northwest. That's, you know, R E P T H E P N W dot com. Because they've got the, these baseball hats that have this awesome logo that has Washington, Oregon, and Idaho stitched together like a baseball. And, and I have one of the hats. And I'm telling you, when it came in the mail, when the box was on my, on my porch, I was like a kid opening up their Christmas present. It was so much fun. I loved it. I wear the hat all the time. And it's a way to show your support for this region. You know, we have amazing baseball being played up here in the Northwest. And, you know, this hat, this company is a great way of showing that off. So once again, it's it's Rep the Pacific Northwest. So it's R-E-P-T-H-E-P-N-W.com. Check it out. If you guys, for some reason, you're not catching what I'm saying, you know, go to the website, um, my website, NorthwestBaseballReport.com. Go to one of the articles in, in the column. If you're on a computer, you'll see an image of their logo. Click on the logo, take it to the side. If you're on a phone, scroll to the very bottom. You'll see the image down there. It's an awesome image. I, I'm telling you guys, I love my hat. I'm going to buy more of them because they're just, I don't know, they're perfect, especially with NorthwestBaseballReport.com. It's a perfect fit. But guys, let's get into our recap for this week and man there was some great baseball being played as you guys know i try not to cover a lot of the division one stuff mainly because they have people already covering them i mean they've got major newspapers espn covers a lot of them especially like oregon state oregon that type of stuff so for me it doesn't make sense for me to put a lot of time and energy into some into a school that already has great coverage but i do want to talk about oregon oregon state they matched up uh this weekend uh, Oregon took two out of three from Oregon State. And honestly, both teams are looking pretty good this year. In fact, all four Northwest Pac-12 school teams are looking pretty good. You have you have Washington State that's 9-2, and two, playing well. Oregon State's 11-3, and three, can't complain about that. Oregon's 8-3, and three, you know, the Huskies are 8-6. and six. So there's been some great baseball being played up here. I know Gonzaga's actually playing well as well. So it's been some great Northwest baseball being played. And it's fun to see that. I'm sure we'll talk a little bit more about that throughout the spring and see how things go, especially if uh, one of the Pac-12 teams makes a run towards the tournament and see how that plays out. But guys, let's jump into um, the coverage of the schools I love to cover the most right now because they don't get the, the respect and the coverage that I think they deserve. I think college athletics is college athletics. The difference between like Division One and Division Three athletics is really just funding. Now, there is talent at every level. Yeah, there are some elite, awesome players at the D1 schools, but there's some elite, awesome players at D2, D3, NAIA, and the JUCO level. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what's going on this weekend, this past weekend in college baseball here in the Northwest. Uh, in the great Northwest Athletic Con Conference, uh, the GNAC here of the Northwest, uh, there's been some, some pretty good matchups, some pretty solid play. Northwest Nazarene actually took on Montana State Billings, and Northwest Nazarene has been playing fantastic this year. They've done great. They actually went in, scored 58 runs this weekend. That is just – that number just blows my mind. And they're actually overall – they're 10-2 and two overall. Uh, they won all four games, like I said, this weekend against Montana State Billings. Uh, also this week in the GNAC uh, was Western Oregon taking on Central Washington – and this series was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth from, from everything I was looking at. And it actually ended up being a split of the weekend. Um, both teams went two and two. It puts Central Washington, you know, at four and four overall. Western Oregon's three and three overall. So they haven't had a lot of games going on this far, uh, this season so far. They've only been playing for a couple weeks. But at the same time, like I said, Northwest Nazarene is playing well. It's fun to see. Um, that going on. And, and this week, St. Martin's actually had a bye uh, or had a, a weekend off. So um, fun to see what's going on in that conference and just kind of see how things are playing out. So the next conference we have up here in the Northwest is the Northwest Conference, the NWC, and that's the D3 
uh, NCAA conference we have up here. And this conference is, people don't realize, but it's pre prehistoric conference because we got Linfield, George Fox, who have both done uh, won national titles and have been great, you know, postseason contenders year in and year out. Um, there's a lot of talent up here uh, in, in this conference. So uh, right off the bat, we had Linfield and Puget Sound. They only got in uh, two games this weekend. So, you know, I think the rain kind of affected that at, for um, for part of it. We had a really beautiful one day, but then it, you know, things changed on, on Sunday. So they both got in. They went one and one Puget Sound is five and three overall. Linfield three and seven overall. A little struggling, um, but conference play is just now starting, so they can get going on that. Uh, Willamette and George Fox. You now, it, it was really just kind of a, a fun atmosphere to see uh, what was going on down there. George Fox dominates one day. Willamette comes back and dominates another day. So uh, those two teams split the weekend, going two and two, with each team winning a doubleheader. Um, down there so that was that was fun to see pacific took on pacific lutheran and that's another series where they just had each team kind of controlled their own day uh pacific would take a double header on saturday while pacific lutheran actually come back and win the double header on on sunday so uh some good matchups some good baseball being played uh, also this weekend whitman uh took on lewis and clark and whitman they've been playing pretty well this year they actually won three out of four. They're six and six overall. But like I said, in conference, they're three and one, and technically in first place in the conference. Uh, Lewis and Clark, this is actually their very first weekend of games. Uh, they didn't play last weekend or anything before that. So uh, they're one and three, but you know what? They got, the, they got on the board, got their first win of the year. That's a big thing to do. So last conference we're going to talk about today, guys, is the Cascade Collegiate Conference, the CCC. It's the NAIA conference up here in the Northwest. And right off the bat, College of Idaho versus Oregon Tech. And this is two teams that, you know, they've been playing okay. They've had some struggles here and there. Um, but this series, every game was won by two runs or less. Um, so they actually split the series. Both went two and two. And you know what? That, that's, in some ways, that's a win. You know, if you go in there and you have a good weekend early in the season, it can help you out. Learn some things. College of Idaho is five and seven in conference play. Oregon Tech three and five. Uh, so both of them, they're still in the thick of things. Things are still going on. Uh, the other series in the Cascade uh, Collegiate Conference was Corbin versus Eastern Oregon. And Corbin had started this season struggling. They were struggling to start this season. And they go into Eastern Oregon and win three out of four. Uh, they're now six and six in conference, six and 18 overall. Like I said they struggled early on. But Eastern Oregon, it's been impressive for them. This is actually their first year having a program back in in action, I think, since like 2006. So three and five in conference, three and nine overall. I mean, for for a brand new program to get out there, start getting on the board and, and setting a precedent, it's, it's important. It's a big thing. And uh, wish the best of luck to them. And, you know, it's been a lot of fun to kind of see things going on uh, in the CCC LC State actually had the weekend off. They're seven and one in conference, fourteen and two overall. They are having another year where you now they're going to be a playoff contender. And and if you follow NAIA baseball, you know that LC State has a very long, rich history of of playing in the playoffs, winning national titles. And you know, I think this year they'll have another shot to make a run as well. So it's it's fun to see. Once again, Northwest baseball gets overlooked. Um, just because we're in the Northwest, but I think that's going to change. I hopefully, hopefully this site, this podcast, we kind of change things a little bit, bring awareness to just the talent level that is up here in the Northwest. But guys, with that, that is the recap for this weekend. I know that in the next couple of weeks, it's going to get a little bit longer. We got the NWAC about to start. That will be a, a lot of recap stuff going on. Might have to actually do an NWAC show by itself. Hoping I don't have to do that. But we'll see how things go on. But with that, guys, thank you so much for listening to the Northwest Baseball Report recap. Until next time, talk to you guys later.